Welcome back to another episode of Mindful Moments. I'm your host, Jada Lowe. And listen, y'all, if you are watching through YouTube or if you're listening through Apple, Google, or Spotify, I appreciate you guys, okay? I appreciate you. I appreciate you. I appreciate you. Um, so we're back. How y'all feeling? Um, and I want y'all to take some time. What is something that you guys have been mindful of today or just throughout this week? And what's something that you want to be more mindful of as your week continues or just throughout the month? What's something that you guys are hopeful for? What's something that you guys want to improve on or improve in? And just take some time to self-reflect. Um, so one of the things that's been going on in my life and one thing that I've been trying to be more mindful of has been how I handle life. Okay. Because if it's one thing life will do when life be lifing, life will slap you across the back of the neck, slap you across the face. Life going to hit you. Okay. It's not a matter of if, it's a matter of when and just even sometimes like the smallest inconvenience I'm trying to train my mind to understand how to take it and to adjust and to adapt because I get in my head a lot and when I want things to go a certain way and like a slight inconvenience or just something that I just didn't plan on happening happens she is in a tizzy okay and so I'm just one thing I want to be more mindful of personally is just how I handle life when life happens and just as an adult and just maneuvering through my 20s I've just learned that life happens man it's um it just comes with the territory uh it's it's a I want to say it's a harsh reality but I don't want to be um no it's a harsh reality life just it happens, but I do believe God uses that to uh, produce perseverance and endurance in us. And so um, I just want to talk about how I've learned to handle the seasons of my life when life has thrown me a curveball and um, encourage you guys to. And also, if y'all are watching on YouTube um, or y'all can DM me to at O underscore Jada at O three H's underscore J-A-D-A. And let me know just some of the ways that you guys handle handle life when it happens the good and the bad like what helps you guys to to get through what's some habits that y'all put in place to just to help you get through the day and to just get through life in general and just like I said you always hear people say it it's not a matter of if life happens it's a matter of when and I used to be um I used to not fully agree with that statement because it's like why would you why would you say that why would you think something bad um why would you think that something bad could happen or why why would you have that mindset of it's not a matter of if something bad happens or if something inconvenient happens it's a matter of when but as I got older I've come to understand that it's just it's a fact but preparing for it and um, making constant improvements and just understanding how to adapt has helped me to holistically understand the and to maturely understand the what that statement means even when it comes down to like if I have a problem with my car of course I'm going to look at that inconvenience differently if it's costing me side note it's egregious how much you got to pay for stuff out here as an adult. Like my, I had to get my car diagnosed or something. And my daddy told me it was going to be $700. I said, you mean like seven zero zero with no dot behind the seven. He was like, yeah, like why, why, (laughs) why? But I say, I say that to say when you don't, when I didn't have the 700, that statement of it's not a matter of if life happen- happens but when hits differently than when I prepared for that to happen. Not that it was necessarily pertaining to my car in general, but just the fact that I prepared and I was responsible 
with my money to where that if something unexpected and inconvenient and something of inconvenience happens, I've prepared for that moment. And so those two contrasting uh, situations and scenarios, because I've had to get my car fixed at times where I just, where I didn't have it compared to when I prepared to have it. It's a car. It happens. You need to get your oil changed. Apparently you need to get your tires rotated. Uh, it's a lot. <laughs> it, it happens. And so that those situations in life really helped me to understand the, the degree or not the degree, but the, the idea or the, just the overarching meaning of what that statement means. And I believe that that just doesn't refer to, um, inconveniences, but just like when we grow, um, and just to, to be mindful of when life happens, but also to give us, give ourselves grace when life happens. I've had to learn that myself too. I had to give myself grace when I was trying to pay to get my car fixed. And I was like, well, now you know that this can potentially happen again. So what practices can you put into place to where if that were to happen again, or even when it happens again, cause cars get older how can you be best prepared for that situation and so how do we remain mindful during the seasons of our lives where life may throw us off or when things just simply don't go as planned or even when we're in a season that we don't want to be in but it's necessary to our growth because the the seasons that in hindsight you know you had to endure to get to where you are now in the present moment it's hard to see that so how in in terms of when life ha- happens in that sense in the sense of obedience how do you adjust and handle it um and just maneuver through it so how do we best manage the times when life happens and one thing that i learned was sometimes you just got to make use of what you have use of what you know but also trusting that the experiences that you're in is teaching you something to help you even endure that present moment. Um, and another thing too that that helped me was I was going to say balance, but balance can be a tricky thing. And I say that too because I'm still learning what balance looks like for me. But what I will say is one thing that's helped me to manage those times of when life happens is finding and discovering the things that keep me grounded um, and the things that I want to make a priority each and every day no matter what season of life I'm in and for me that's God and my faith that's me going to the gym and that's me um, just like different hobbies and activities that I like to do Um, but let me tell y'all something this past month the month of February was just like a roller coaster for me mentally um just making decisions just being in my head and that caused me to have to reevaluate the things that kept me grounded and I say that because during that time I I didn't go to the gym for like a month I wasn't in the gym for for a month I always pride myself on being able to take care of my body, go to the gym, work out consistently, yada, 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 woody, woody, woo. And it just got to where I was so in my head to where uh, a day went by, two days went by, a week went by, and I'm looking up and it's February 19th. And I'm like, girl, you have not gone to the gym. Um, And it was like, before, when, when times like that have happened, I will always beat myself up because y'all, I used to be in the gym like, six days out the week the only day I didn't work out was Sunday and once I started like once the seasons of my life started changing I had to realize how to adapt to going to the gym like how can you maximize if you go to the gym three to four times out the week or five days out the week and sometimes I had to even learn how to manage that because making my rest day in the middle of the week instead of at the end because just because how my body felt and listening to my body and not feeling bad about that but that was a side note anywho um I said that to say 
while you do find you the things that ground you give yourself grace for even when those things may fall off or even when you're still trying to figure those things out because when life happens it can affect your mental it can affect your body and trying to listen to so many things at once can be draining it can be draining and it can be confusing and for me sometimes I feel like when I try to balance everything in my life it feels like something ends up falling off like I'll talk to God every day I'll be faithful in my devotion I'll go to the gym I'll eat right but a a hobby like reading I may mess around and not do that for like a week so it's like can can everything just stay balanced and um so I've still just been learning how to make all of those things manageable and digestible for me and which is what I encourage y'all to do because it's easy for things to fall off it's easy for sometimes when when you just get caught in the hustle and bustle of life you said me hustling bustle sounding country (laughs) but when you get caught up in life you your relationship with God can even fall off you may find find that you're not reading your Bible as much you're not praying as much you're not as in tune with him as you once were when you were regularly communicating with him Uh, you may find that you're not going to the gym as regularly as you are and so now for me I get in my head so I'm like dog I'm not going to the gym I'm not taking care of my body Uh, and then and God forbid you eat some unhealthy for me I make sure I eat some unhealthy I'm like girl you didn't go to the gym now you eating junk what's what's really going on and so like all of those things like on top of just life's big decisions she was in a tizzy in a tizzy and so I had to learn how to just find a concrete thing and for me that concrete thing was just staying rooted in God and giving myself grace and when I did fall off praying to him and asking him to to keep that longing for him there even when life gets hectic because life can be distracting y'all life can be super 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 distracting and it's hard to one of the hardest things that that's just been hard for me at times is just trying to figure out like how do I fit all of this into one day and how do I how do I tell myself that it's okay if I don't fit all of it into one day but I also believe it's important too to for me that's God making sure that's mandatory each and every day because I know I'm gonna feel off I know I'm gonna feel like a hot mess just if if that doesn't keep me grounded the other stuff I can I can figure out how to do that but I need me personally I need him as my foundation to be able to just make it through on from the most basic to the most elaborate level and task of my day and I also just it just it required reflection and I also had to learn new ways to take care of myself um and and sometimes when life happens I just thought it is too sometimes you can't help like you may be your body may be physically hurting so you may not be able to go to the gym or you may not be able to physically Um, or I'll even say mentally or emotionally just have the capacity to be able to do the things that you would like to do I encourage you and what I had to learn too was to find new ways to take care of myself and love myself within the parameters of what physically emotionally and mentally I was able to do um And I say that because sometimes we can get in our head so much to where it clouds our judgment. Um, But two, just give yourself grace, because if if what you like to do is to go for a run or if you like going for a run, I commend you. But if you like just going for a walk or some type of physical activity and then you may get injured or something and now you you physically you just you physically can't do that what's another way that you could take care of yourself meantime in between time until you get back to being able to do that thing that um that helped you and yeah the that that's been I've noticed for our first couple of episodes we've just been talking about grace and I just think that's really important as it relates to being mindful because um and one thing I've learned and I just wanted to help y'all with too because giving myself grace 
Grace doesn't mean that you're making excuses for yourself, but grace does mean extending yourself some love as you try to figure it out. Because y'all, that is what we are trying to do at the end of the day. I I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing out here. I am trusting God. I am doing my due diligence and I'm being intentional. But at the end of the day, I, I'm, I'm trying to figure it out. We are all trying to figure it out. So give yourself grace because as you grow, there will be new things that you will implement to be able to help you for when life happens. It won't always be the same thing. Um, there will be things that will be foundational for you that will remain constant through those. But the other things that build on top of that will change. And so just give yourself grace through that. I say grace all the time. That might as well be the word for the year. But give yourself grace through that as you're learning to maneuver through the different ways or the different things that you put in place that help you to get through those times where life may just not be what you want it to be or just when inconveniences happen or just even when those moments of life happen that you just weren't anticipating and I just want you guys to to take away the fact the main thing too is that when life happens I've learned that no matter or I'll keep it related to the episode yes good times but more specific more specifically when inconveniences happen or when you may encounter bad seasons of your life understand that is God run it back when you encounter inconveniences and when you encounter bad seasons or just things not happening the way you want it to that is God helping to build your endurance as you grow more things will be required of you and life life is full of ebbs and flows life is full of mountain peaks and valleys and both of them require endurance both of them require perseverance and those moments are meant to shape and mold us so we can understand how to better manage those moments and seasons when they happen and so we can help other people be able to manage those seasons as well your life isn't just for you you don't know who out there who their future is predicated upon how you're handling your current season so this season even though it may not be looking even though it may not be adding up and it might be looking like two plus two equals seven that may be what somebody needs and you coming out of that and you learning how to manage that may be what they need to hear when their time comes and so your endurance is producing a testimony for them and will eventually help somebody else and those moments are also meant to draw you closer to God the 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 good moments I found yes bring me closer to him make me grateful don't get me wrong but those bad moments like when you down and out, ugly crying, in a hot mess, those those moments draw you closer to God, but they also um, develop a deeper dependence too because you realize that the only way I know how to get through this is by consulting and talking to the one who made me and who knows who saw this before it even happened. And you're not in it alone. You have God and you have trust when it comes to community that's why community is important too because you're not alone when it comes to learning how to put to maneuver through those times when life happens I am butchering some words today (laughs) anywho but community is important just understand that you're not alone in that season and those moments are what God uses to show you that you're capable of handling the hardest seasons in life and yes the maneuvering through life and and learning how to manage when life happens yes it's to help encourage other people but it's also meant to help encourage you when you're in a terrible season a bad season or an iffy season or an okay season of your life and you get out of that there have been some things that I have come out of and that God has brought me out of and I came out of it like listen you can't tell me nothing you can't you can't tell my God nothing And you can't tell me nothing about him that's contrary to what I've just seen him do. So it's it's meant to show you and God uses certain seasons like that to show you that you can handle more than you think and you are more capable than what you think. 
And so in the sense of it's not a matter of if life happens, but when, how do we look at it in a hindsight view? And I believe those things can can help us understand that it draws us closer to God, that it's for other people and to help other people. It's meant to produce endurance in us and also it's meant to show you what you're really made of. It's meant to show you like I'm I'm really tough. <laughs> that's what it's meant to show you. And I believe that's why God uses those seasons in our lives. And so I just want you guys to be more mindful of that. And I'm trying to be more mindful of that. And just even if you're not in a rough season right now or an if you're okay or confused season right now, um, just just reference those things as to and ask yourself, what is God trying to show me when things that inconvenience me happens? And just know that that you're capable. I, I tell y'all that all the time because I've had to tell myself that. And it's something that I believe God has told me to tell y'all, too, is that you're you're capable. It doesn't it's hard for us to see a lot of things in the moment but it is a beautiful thing when we come out of them. And so just know that you're capable for handling the seasons when life happens because you're not alone. You are not alone. And just know that it's not a matter of if and when, but put things into place that will prepare you and and just listen to yourself, listen to your body, listen to your mind, listen to your spirit, your soul about what what you need for those seasons. And understand that it looks different for different seasons as you grow and just as you move through life and just give yourself some grace as you figure it out. Don't expect yourself to to have this list of things figured out of what you need to do in this season or if this happens. Just take small steps and learn from your past to see what is it that I can do to better manage and adapt for when the the not so good seasons of life I have to endure. Okay. I believe in you and you are you're capable you're more than capable of doing it more than capable of handling it and more than capable of enduring it and know that no two you are worthy of coming out on the other side of it no matter what it looks like in that present moment you are worthy of coming out on the other side of it okay I love you guys (laughs) weirdo i love you guys and you guys have a great week and know that you are worth it you are capable and you are loved so go through this week knowing those things and if you're in a rough season of your life know that you're worthy like i said coming out on the other side of it and i just want to thank you guys for tuning in to another episode be sure to like this video if you're on youtube and to share it if you're on apple podcast spotify podcast a google podcast i said i said google uh, yeah yeah do do all the things and you guys be sure to follow me too on um on the socials at o three h's underscore jada i love you guys and i will see you all in the next episode <laughs>